guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. beautiful people so this is going to be an energy reading for the month of June so I actually have a new deck here um, romance angels by Dorian virtue and <clears throat> I'm just absolutely falling in love with this deck oh my god um, a lot of beautiful messages have come through um, there seems to be a repeated theme that is coming up uh, which is um, the love is still there. The love is still felt um, on both sides. Whoa. Calling in your soulmate. Huh. Um, I want to keep that out. I have found that uh, this deck does flip quite a bit of cards out. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Um, I think I'll do an elemental reading. Uh, this deck doesn't have that many cards in it, so um, I want to try to keep it light. And I'll probably use my cards for clarifiers. I've actually took the time to, <clears throat> you know, go through the cards, shuffle them, uh, make sure they're in the upright position. So if anything um, turns upside, you know, up, upside down, then I'll know it's a true um, card to read upside down. I've uh, smudge them and right now they're all um, being cleansed with crystals so let me just whoops put this down if it can go down probably not so we got some quartz crystals here on my deck um, and then I put in a shelf behind me so I have all the decks sitting there um, airing and breathing so hopefully we'll get a nice strong message clear message um, about our our path, you know, uh, any guidance, um, any signs, synchronicities that Spirit wants to share. Hopefully that will come through strong. Okay, so I'm going to say that's the overall energy for the month of June, calling in your soulmate. So what does it say here? Your prayers, affirmations, and vis visualizations help bring you together. And I might read that for you. So, um, yeah, I usually offer this as a mid-month reading, but I haven't had a chance to, to do that just yet. And so it would be for, this is for Patreons only. Um, so there's different tiers you can choose from, and this is the highest tier. So this is a month, um, en uh, monthly energetic reading for June, and then I'll probably be doing a mid-month energy update. So the link is below if you wanted to check that out. Okay, I think I've shuffled this enough. So let's pull the cards. So this is for the masculine side. So this would be his emotional element. This is his mental element. Um, that is the physical and the spiritual. And this is the soul. And same thing with the feminine side. And like I said, that's a shared energy, I feel. And from the bottom of the deck. No, you know what? I've already pulled that. So let's go ahead and just pull one anyway. And so the two of them together will tell a story. Okay. So which deck should I use here? Um... Yeah, I'll put my small deck away, and I think I'll just use my large deck for clarifiers. And like I said, I want to do some reading, so let me just give these a quick shuffle. Oops, they are hard to shuffle though. 
Okay, like I said, I've already given them a really good shuffle. Okay, so calling in your soulmate. Let's have a look at that. So it says, and, and look how, you know, the feminine is, she's opening herself up to spirit. She's opening herself up to her soulmate, her twin flame. Um, and so it's a, this positive intention, positive vibration that she's sending out. Um, and when you exude that kind of energy, then you attract that energy back into your life. All right. So it says, um, you like everyone has a soulmate. So these people, um, are whom you've shared time with in heaven. So you have a soul agreement with them to meet up in this life for mutual spiritual growth. So it could be friends, family, co-workers, uh, and lovers. So what this card is asking you to do is to actively call in your soulmate to send out those vibrations into the universe. Um, like attracts like. Beautiful. Okay, so let's look at the card that's accompanying it. Sorry if you can hear people raising their cars outside. That's hilarious. Uh, wow, make an effort. Beautiful. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So when I look at this card, I always see my twin flame. Um, I am one of the fortunate people to have met my twin flame when we were very young. So, you know, we have this um, very innocent spiritual connection. So, you know, I'm, I knew him before the world touched him, you know, changed him. Um, so I think, you know, what twin flames are here to do is to remind the other of who they are, you know, that um, you cherish who they are and you want to draw that side out of them, help them to remember. So yeah, it's, you know, and I really love how the masculine energy is reaching over and making an effort to connect. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this is, again, a card of, <clears throat> of action. Let me just look it up because this is a deck that is brand new. I haven't really looked at it fully. I don't know it fully, so let me just have a look here. Um, yeah, take action. It's childlike freedom playfulness, follow your intuition. Uh, so this question, there's a question being asked here, should I or shouldn't I? And so look deep within what it is your inner self telling you. You know, if you're being drawn um, towards somebody, you know, there's that chemistry, that magnetism there. And it's the likeness, right, that you're, you're coming together because you're so much like each other. Um, you try to find somebody else who vibes at that level and they're just, you know, they're, it just doesn't feel right. You know, there's such an elevated, um, energy associated with this connection and the longevity of it is, um, you know, it, it's what keeps bringing you back together over and over again. All right. Every time you come together, it's like the first time that energy level is always at you know, it's highest. And so, you know, a lot of times that's what causes the other, you know, runner, chaser kind of thing, right? So, um, a lot of twins have, um, you know, self-image issues, right? And so what the whole twin flame is about is, you know, realizing that no matter how much you change on the outside, that love is always going to be there no matter what the 3D reality changes, but the innocence, the purity of the soul is always there. It's unchanging. And so that's what you're coming back to, innocence, to oneness, to who you used to be. So calling in your soulmate coupled with this innocence, this purity. Um, yeah, I mean, when I see this, when I look at this picture, I see that innocence of who we were and it's still reflected in who we are. No matter what happens, you know, if you feel alone, 
they're always with you. And it's almost like they're, they're sitting there with you, right beside you. That never changes, the longevity of it um, is so undeniable and unaffected. Which is why it's so fucking frustrating, right? Okay. So, and, and that's what this Twin Flame Connection is here to remind you, right? Like, <clears throat> some time passes. And I've been noticing in the past readings that the feminine has been the one that has been withdrawing. Um, you know, and the love is always there on the masculine side. You know, and the feminine is kind of what was kind of moving into a cold space. Um, so no matter what happens, no matter how much time passes, when you come together, you know, it's it's an instant reminder of true love can never fully be um, forgotten or lost. You know, it doesn't diminish. It only grows stronger over time. Okay, so <clears throat> let's see here. Um, let's start with the masculine soul. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So what I feel here is a question um, and a need to make a decision and take action. And there's an urgency about it. Okay, and so if you look at this couple, you see them you know, in just falling into one another, it, just totally accepting one another, um, telling each other your darkest desires, um, expressing yourself, right? So again, let me have a quick look at what the book says here. So the universe is listening <clears throat> so you have to be honest with yourself. Um, and the question is, what do you want? What do you really want? And send out that intention. Um, and then the universe will bring that to you. Yeah, so being honest with yourself will help you make your decisions. Um, but you need to clearly decide what you want and then that will come to you. So I feel a transition um, energy very strongly on the masculine side so far, but a desire to reconnect, to reach out. Okay, so the feminine side, we have deception. Okay, and so this energy was actually repeated on the, the feminine side in the past. So we can see that there's still that feeling of, you know what, I've trusted somebody before with my heart and I don't want to be hurt again. So you create a barrier, a wall around you. Um, you know, you're always questioning somebody's motives. Um, so it says here, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So who's wearing the false mask? Is it you or do you think it's somebody else? You know, is, do you feel the masculine is hiding something from you? So here there's almost this feeling of, okay, you know, I want clarity. I want you to be open. I want you to be honest about how you feel. So this card, this card requires um, honest dialogue in discussing your true feelings. You know, somebody might be holding something back because they're afraid of hurting their feelings you know, or they're holding back because they want to be polite, right? They don't want to um, talk about things that are uncomfortable. But in order for you to move forward, you need to do that, that work, you know, and that will set you on a path towards healing. So this is a nudge from the universe to engage in honest communication, to be genuine, you know, uh, reveal the truth about the situation. So action is required. Um, you're looking for an answer, feminine. The masculine is looking to make a decision. And again, make the effort. 
a transition energy and action and is needed. Okay, so what is in the emotional space for the masculine? It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive in the highest energy of all. Um, so again, that high energy. Okay, so this card once again talks about being hurt in the past. Um, and you don't want to repeat those same mistakes, right? So you're being asked to kind of go within, um, do some introspection, find out where that energy is coming from, um, and then heal it. Hold on. I'll just find this first before I continue talking. Okay talk and think at the same time. H I it's all in alphabetical order too. H I J K. Okay, here it is. So it is safe to love. So um yeah this talks about having a closed heart, um having a shield in front of your heart and you're creating this barrier because you're afraid to to be vulnerable right so the reality here is that in order to to receive love you must give love so yeah open yourself up um also trust your intuition right open yourself up to people who are uh, kind and, and giving and trusting so on an emotional level, the feminine is also asking a question. This could be the one. You are already met the romantic partner you seek. So the question is, are they the one? Um, are they my true love? And the answer is yes. So emotionally, they feel, you know, true love for this person and it is that true love that keeps reaffirming you know that they are their soulmate so let me just find it first so this could be the one um yeah introspection is required so you've already met this person right you you're you're recognizing that this person is already in your life. So whoever you're thinking about right now, that is your, the one, your true love. So what this card is saying is that you're overlooking them. You're not fully appreciating them, you know, appreciating the connection. Um, maybe you have this vision or these expectations about the person and so they don't quite measure up to what you fully want, right? That image in your head. But so this is, again, another nudge from spirit saying that what you expected may not be what you get, but it's it's what is supposed to be, right? So you're, you're again, a sense of, deception, false masks, um, questioning, right? Remember the overall energy calling in your soulmate. Are they really the one? So on, this is where you are in an emotion level. You are questioning this connection. You feel the emotions are there, but you just don't know whether to trust yourself or not. So, where's the masculine in the mental space? Attraction. That's beautiful. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So, this card is really all about relinquishing control, I feel. Right? You, there's no, you don't have any expectations. Um, instead, what you're doing is you're using the law of attraction. And you, by appreciating every moment by enjoying life, by, you know, um, finding joy in simple pleasures, then you exude this energy, which attracts, you know, love into your life. So again, the law of attraction is playing a very powerful role. 
So in the mental space, the masculine is feeling magnetically drawn towards the feminine. Um, he's also sending out positive vibrations. And there's romance blooming. It's nice to have this beautiful, breezy, fragrant, frag, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to say it, fragrant, um, sweet feeling coming from his mental space. Right? It's like he's made a decision, yeah, okay, it's, it's okay to love, I'm, you know, there's this magnetism about this person. I, I, I'm drawn to them continually, right? Um, but then again, there's that, that need to make an effort, that need to reach out to make a decision to fully embrace the other person. The feminine, where is she mentally? Unrequited love, of course. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. What did I say at the beginning? I said that the feminine is really withdrawing, disconnecting, um, losing faith, ignoring, very cold, um, detached energy. And, you know, that while that is good on some levels, you want to detach, right? You don't want to have any expectations. You want to relinquish control. Um, but in doing so, you run the risk of closing your heart off. And that's what we see here, closed heart on the feminine side, protecting yourself. So, um, and you know, we have that, that idea of needing to protect yourself on the masculine side too. But um, there's this feeling that these emotions, this passion, this love, um, is taking the front seat. Do you know what I mean? It's taking control. Um, so mentally the feminine is, you know, just not having it. Just, you know, maybe she's just not ready. Um, but this is a, a, a block, a mental block. Here in both situations, the masculine is the one that is reaching out here as well. And here again, she's looking down on somebody, feels that they're beneath them. While here we see this desire to reach out, you know. And Definitely. Okay, so in the physical space for the masculine, true love. Wow, this is a rom romance of a lifetime. So again, um, verification that your feelings that you feel for somebody else is reciprocated. The love is still there. It's very strong. It's not going anywhere. Um, and it's hard to ignore. So this is coming in the physical space, which means that the masculine is thinking of possibly reaching out. Okay, so the physical space for the feminine, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you romantically attractive. Okay, so attraction. Um, yeah, this is all about self-love. Um, enjoying being alone, um, you know, it talks about codependency, not being addicted to somebody or something. Uh, so in order to attract true love into your life, you must love yourself first, right? So in the physical space, the feminine is... Switching perspectives from desiring the masculine, longing for the masculine to self-love, perhaps. Let me know what you think. This resonates. Okay, so um, in the spiritual, 
my god soulmate what yes this is your soulmate oh my god in the spiritual position true twin flame boom more confirmation wow I see 11-11 you know twin flame energy all over this the law of attraction um, magnetism uh, longevity you know calling in your soulmate spiritually the masculine feels the feminine is his soulmate the physical he feels true love his heart chakra is open he's feeling drawn he's feeling drawn to make a decision Wow and spiritual for the feminine finances and careers financial issues are a factor in your love life right now so spiritually the feminine I feel um, is focus too much on finances and focus too much on the 3d reality um, and so the message of this card is to play um, finding time to play is very important in all relationships so you know uh, this card asks you to reach out go out with friends have fun so very different energy it is repetitive energy that I've been picking up on so this is going to be the energy for the month of June a desire to make an effort to reach out calling in the soulmate feels like it's coming very strongly from the masculine a desire to reach out whereas the feminine is questioning um, is like look at all of these cards all right she is always looking at the masculine um, sternly unemotional the masculine's making the gesture here, stern, risen above, always above, um, accusations, you know, again here, above, stern face. The masculine is reaching out. Now, with this card, love yourself first. Um, it's all about self-respect, loving yourself first, you come first. And, you know, that's what I'm kind of feeling over here is the energy is turned away. Your attention is elsewhere, elsewhere. And so you're not feeling that passion, you're not feeling that love. Um, your energy is being poured into yourself, which is a great thing, but all work, no play makes Jack a dull boy, right? Very stern, very disconnected, very detached. Same look. Now you look on the masculine side, okay, feminine again, stern, detached, above, risen above. But he's willing to open his heart. Attraction. The face is different. The face is taking in life enjoying life <clears throat> okay these two cards actually all three of these cards are exactly the same the even the way that they are positioned the red belt exactly the same so true love you've already met your your true love here, there's a desire to connect, to make that decision to connect. The masculine is always drawn in to the feminine. Same thing here. Right? All the same stance is absolutely beautiful. The synchronicities. So, you know, it's almost like mentally he wishes he was the rose in this picture. So, Emotionally, there is still some wounds. He's afraid of being hurt, but the desire to connect is undeniable. The feminine 
um, you know, even in this picture, it's like she's not really kissing him. You know, it's like they're just kind of pecking each other on, on the lips. There's no passion on the feminine side. She's very protective, very cold. So, yeah, ladies, um, reconnect with the masculine. Feel that genuine love that is, isn't going anywhere. And once you re make that realization, um, that hard shell, that mask will fall away. Very freaking strong message. The love is still there. If, if you're wondering, could this be the one? I don't know. Should I take a risk? Yes. Love is there and it's strong. Okay, so I'm going to pull one card. What should I do here? Um, <clears throat> so I think I want to do Osho Zen. I always get very powerful messages from these cards. What is your final message? Just one card, please. One final message for the yin and yang. Intensity. Yes, that's definitely what I'm feeling. I'm feeling um, attraction. The intensity of the attraction on the masculine side is very strong. Um, and I feel that growing. And, you know, there's this sexual tension that I feel also very strongly over here. The feminine... Um, it's almost like you're rejecting him in the 5D. The message is to feel that intensity, feel that passion. You know, that's what attracts a masculine, not a cold, um, not a cold soul, right? It's all about the law of attraction, calling in your soulmate. I will find it soon. And there it is. All right, <clears throat> so it says, the figure in this card has taken on the shape of an arrow, moving with a single pointed focus of one who knows precisely where he is going. He is moving so fast that he has become almost pure energy, but his intensity should not be mistaken for the manic energy that makes people drive their cars at top speed to get from point A to point B. That kind of intensity belongs to the horizontal world of space and time. The intensity represented by the night of fire belongs to the vertical world of present moment. A recognition that now is the only moment there is, and here is the only space. When you act with intensity of the night of fire, it is likely to create ripples in the water around you. Some will feel uplifted and refreshed by your presence. Others may feel threatened or annoyed. But the opinions of others matter little. Nothing can hold you back right now. Wow. Um, yeah, make that effort. And I almost feel like once you do, there's this dam that breaks open. The intensity, the passion is reciprocated. Once you open that door. Um, so there's an intention here with, you know, a directed focus towards the goal. Uh, in fire, you know, the night of fire is very passionate, very creative, and the energy is a high, high vibration. You know, this card is about enjoying life, being, doing things that make you happy. Um, when you, when you follow your, your path, when you do the things that you desire, then this energy just bubbles up within, within you, just naturally. When you're passionate about life, you know, that's how you attract passion into your life, by being passionate. It's addictive, it's like a drug, right? You pass it on to other people. So, that's beautiful. Um, yeah. I'll leave it there, so I will be putting out the Twin Flame reading shortly as well. Alright, I love you guys. Cheers!